NASA was advertising for experiments for the astronauts to put on the moon to measure whatever was scientifically important. In 1966, in January, they put together this conference of people who were going to build the, the bus, if you like, all the hardware to, to house the, the experiments. And they told me I had to put a dust cover over my, over Seeply, over the, to protect the apertures where the particles would go in from dust that might uh, bombard them when the Apollo 11 rocket took off, bringing the astronauts back. And I had no problem with that because I believed that there would be some dust there. Nobody knew, no, there were no photographs of the soil then. But it seemed reasonable if you've got rocks on the moon and 4,000 million years of being bombarded. But when NASA insisted that there be a dust cover, I said, well, where's the dust detector to measure the hypothetical risk? And they said, oh, you can't have a dust detector. Uh, we can't spare the time for Buzz Aldrin to, to deploy one. And besides, it would weigh at least two kilograms, and we can't afford that. So I got uh, rather cranky. And that night, flying home to Houston, uh, I invented a dust detector that wouldn't need an astronaut and only weighed 270 grams. And there are now four of them on the moon. It's important because the, the, all the Apollo astronauts found that the dust was uh, a terrible constraint to them in all sorts of ways. It's quite curious that uh, even the last astronaut on the moon, Gene Cernan, was the one who's best documented that dust is the number one environmental problem on the moon. That the astronauts could overcome physical problems and even mental problems psychological problems, but they could not overcome the problems with dust. And the little dust detectors that I invented, which were flown on Apollo 11, 12, 14 and 15, they are the only measurements made to date by the Western world of dust on the moon. There's now this agreement, at least this weekend, or last weekend, that anybody who flies to the moon without having a dust detector is um, dumb. I like that summary. I said in 1966, on the 10th and 11th of, 11th and 12th of January, 66, I said they were bloody stupid. It's probably more polite to just say they were dumb.